Yeah. I, Wilfred Andis Clark, do solemnly swear that my testimony that I have come to give before the TRC of Liberia is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Be seated. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. I want to thank you very much for coming to the TRC in response to our invitation and also out of your desire to contribute to this process and to address yourself to one or two concerns you may have listening to testimonies of other witnesses. The TRC thought that the story can best be truthfully told through the experiences of people who have lived long enough, who have been blessed by the Almighty to see this day. People who during the period 79 to 2003, either by their commitment or by their assignment in public office or otherwise, have managed to have seen and became actors during certain periods. You, as we know, is a prominent security personnel. You were, you were in the 70s uh, security personnel in government. It is our information you were on duty on the night of the April 12, 1980, and you served the PRLC government. And during the period, we were convinced that you have rich experience to share with the TRC in terms of what happened, your own perspectives, and advice security-wise that our country can pursue in ensuring general peace, reconciliation, and security. So, Mr. Witness, we are glad that you have come. It is against that specific background that the TRC thought you would be a valuable witness to it to assist us in our inquiry process. Before you proceed with your presentation, I'd like to introduce commissioners, most of whom you've recognized already. Commissioner Per Brambu, Commissioner Dede Dolope, Commissioner Gerald Coleman, and of course myself, Jerome Vredia. We thank you again very much, sir, for coming and the platform is yours. You have the platform. First, uh, the one or two things, clarification I'd like to make. Uh, April 12, 1980, I was Deputy Minister of the Ministry of State for National Security. Uh, I didn't do guard duty at that time. I had risen above that 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 that, that, that table assignment. So to say I was on guard, I was on duty, the night of the cool April 12, it's that fact. Uh, yes, I was on the executive mansion uh, grounds the night of April 12, 1980. But uh, I was there out of curiosity. Just a minute, please. We are not getting you through the microphone. Oh, 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 I, I. Okay, you can hear me now, clearly? Yes, sir. All right. I was on the ground April 12, 1980. I was not on duty. I was not on guard duty. Okay. All right. That is clear. Uh, an another thing I'd like to, to mention here before proceeding, the, the, the letter you wrote me, uh, I, I, I saw something in the analyst, and then I, the letter says something else. The, the, the letter is saying that uh, 
In recognition, the Commission is conducting investigations, allegations of gross human rights and international human, humanitarian law violations. Uh, I mean, is that is that a form letter or, just, uh, or addressed directly to me? A violation of that? No, the letter, I guess, was just explaining the mandate of the TRS. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, thank you. Because uh, I, I was taken aback. You know, oh, no, it wasn't was, in reference right. to you in person. Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, I joined the Liberian National Police. I was recruited into the Liberian National Police. Uh, as a cadet, as a recruit, I went to the police academy uh, in 1962. 62 January. I graduated in 1962 October as a recruit. I can, you can hear me? I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes. Or, or I still have to come closer. All right. Or, or, uh, and then uh, I, I saved. Just a minute. I want the technician to do some adjustment there. Testing one, two, three. Okay. And then I served uh, in the police, uh, with the police at the police academy. And 63, I was transferred to the executive mansion, uh, executive mansion police unit in those days, EMPU. Uh, I served 63 to uh, 1977. 1977. During that period, I rose from the rank of private, probation, private, private to to chief. I became director of SSS in 1966, I think. Uh, and uh, no, I became director of SSS in 1970 at the death of President Topman. Mr. Talbot made me director. I was deputy director from 66 to 70. Uh, <clears throat> and 77, I was uh, elevated to the position of deputy minister of state for national security. Then the coup occurred in 1980 I was imprisoned for eight months, 23 days. I served some time at Post Starkey and Camp Bella Yala. I was released December 1980. I worked for the B of Goodrich, then of Guthrie, for a while. And then uh, the PRC government in 81, I know, 82, 82, July 4th, 82, July 4th, uh, appointed me director of police. 82, July 4th. I served in that position until May 29, 1990, when I resigned. I resigned and unceremoniously left the country. Okay, uh, so in brief, that's the history of my service. Uh, <clears throat> the SSS, well, the Liberian National Police is responsible for general law enforcement, traffic regulation, uh, criminal investigation, etc. Uh, the SSS is the security service responsible for the protection of the president. VIPs, visiting dignitaries, and the president's family, and anyone who the president designates, uh, and also installations that are used by the president. Uh, national security is responsible for the coalition, for monitoring, for taxing, and uh, supervision of intelligence, and reporting to the president. In a nutshell, 
as the functions of the offices that I've held. Uh, I served, as I say, from 60, I joined the police force from 1962, and, and except for that brief period, 1980 December to July 4, 1982, uh, I served up to 1990, May 29. Now, I'll be pleased, and then, and then I came back. Then I came back in 2003, 2003, November, I can say, November ending or, or, or December, uh, the, the NTGL asked me to come and assist them in, with, the, with the security. So I worked with the NTGL from uh, December uh, 2003 to January 16, 2006. I served as advisor, national security advisor to the chairman, the NTGL. I don't think you want to know what I did when I ran away from the country in 1990 until 2003. I, and I'm part of it. You, you, <laughs> you don't want to know what I did I, to, 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 to survive, to sustain myself and my family. I don't think any interest of yours. No, if it is related yeah. to national... See what? If it is related to national issues, no, no, international. If it's, it's purely international. private, then international, not national. Uh, okay. International. Then that's fine. Even beyond 2003, we may not okay. be interested. So, uh, perhaps you have questions you want to ask me during my service to in the security and law enforcement areas of the of the country. I avail myself uh, to answer whatsoever queries you may have. We certainly like to ask you questions during this period, but prior to that, we thought you would uh, share a couple of experiences with us. Uh, there was, there were a lot of events that occurred during that period, 1980 straight up to 1989. And then the night of the coup, 19, 1980, April, as you said, you were in the executive mansion. What was the experience? We've had a lot of theories about how the coup came about, what happened on that fateful day, and all of that. The commission will want to benefit from your experience, if you don't mind. Well, the, the, 19, the 1980, the, the coup, uh, people, most people confuse uh, security. You think security is protection, close protection. You got various, various uh, uh, career professions within the security apparatus. Uh, security, you got protection, protective security, close protection. Security, you got uh, counterintelligence. Security, you have intelligence. All of these are security. But uh, the, the the different uh, and, and, and and professions. Now, my 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 position in in the Ministry of State uh, from 1977 to 1980 as Deputy Minister of National Security dealt with intelligence and not with protection. So April 12, 1980, I was not an SSS officer. I, I had nothing to do with SSS. I, I, I monitored the SSS activities and made sure that you know they were they were doing their job in keeping with law, keeping the statute. I monitored the National Security Agency uh, activities to make sure that they were doing their job in keeping with law, the statute. I monitored the police and I taxed them also if, if it was necessary. So uh, when we had uh, the late Patrick Minicon and I worked together. Uh, when we heard that the mansion was under attack, we went to the mansion that night, the both of us. We went to the mansion, and we were on the grounds when the soldiers were jubilant, in the jubilant mood. They were, whoa, 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 making noise, and, and uh, some of us 
Someone then said to us, so look, you better leave from here and go because they'd be finished killing the president. And if they see you, they will, they will kill you. So me and Patrick, Patrick and myself, we, 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 we retreated. <coughs> now, up to that time, up to that time, our office was investigating senior officers of the uh, Liberian National, uh, of, the, of the Army, of the AFL. I will call the LNG now, of the AFL, investigating senior officers. And as you know, the coup was perpetrated by NCOs, by non-commissioned officers of the AFL. So uh, we had in our custody, under investigation, some uh, colonels, some, some uh, lieutenant colonels, full colonels, and majors. When the coup occurred, the first action of the, of the perpetrators was to issue orders that no commission, no NCO take orders from COs. No non-commissioned officer should take order from commissioned officer. Commissioned officer is from the rank of second lieutenant upwards. Non-commissioned officers, uh, privates, uh, private first class, uh, corporals, sergeants, the ranks of sergeants, up to the master sergeant, staff sergeant, etc. But they gave orders that no NCO should take order from. As a matter of fact, they, they, were, they, 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 they went further to say that arrest all commission officers. So there were commission, commission officers that were being arrested on that day, April 12th. Commission officers were being arrested by NCOs, by the junior uh, 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 officers. And also, the second thing they did, uh, which was unique, they, it, it, it seemed as though they, they, they were well thought of. They, they issued orders uh, uh, suspending the militia. You know, in those days we have militia. And militia was uh, a, 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 a cadre of, of officers, uh, 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 every able-bodied citizen from the age of 16, I think to 55, served in the militia. And we had quarterly parades and all of those things there. And the Constitution then uh, read that the, the military, during the time of peace, was subordinated to civil authority. And so, when, when, when there was a parade, like on Independence Day or, 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 or some significant na national event, the, the, the army was commanded by a civilian general. A civilian general. A civilian general in that you had Bing, General Bing, you had General uh, Phillips, you had General uh, 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 Goodrich, you, 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 you had, uh, these were militia generals. They were not military generals. But because of the law, they com commanded the, the, the troops on, on, on those occasions. And, and, the, and, the, and the regular army fell in after the civilian, the, 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 the militia, which were us, everybody, Liberian citizens. So uh, the, 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 the PRC junta said that morning the militia was suspended and to arrest all militia officers, that General Bing and all the people there were being arrested, etc. So uh, that's the significant event that uh, I recalled on that day. And uh, Minico and I were together, the, the, and, and we called him, we said, well, look, we, we, we hold ourselves available. We don't want anybody to come and uh, destroy our homes and, and uh, 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 attacking our families. We are not in hiding. We are ready to surrender. And I think Mr. Tipote, uh, yeah, Mr. Tipote or uh, family one of them said to me, 
stay where you are and we're ready for you, we'll send for you. So Pat and myself together, Minicon. I call him Pat, we're my colleague, we work together. So we're together uh, until I think well, some days after, a week or so after. <laughs> so here at the Ministry of Justice, we, we came to the Ministry of Justice every day because we wanted to protect our families. We will not want anybody violating our homes. And Chair Chippo, the Minister of Justice, said to us, uh, 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 the, the President said, why everybody in jail and the two of you guys not in jail? <laughs> so I laughed because, they were, because the President said, so, so then they sent us to jail, they took us to jail. That we were in prison. And, uh, but, uh, I went to the tribunal. I, I was a, I was the only security officer that went to the tribunal to the St. Quentin Court or the Cape Flood Court. And uh, where they asked me many questions, and I tried to respond to the best of my ability. <clears throat> but there are many violations. There are many things that occur. Uh, the Tory party had come into power in the in the late 60s, 1860, and uh, they came into power as an opposition to the to the to the government, to, to the ruling, I think, the Republican Party at that time, and they came representing the underclass, the underprivileged people, and from that time, this 1860 up until. 1980, they had uh, somehow veered from uh, the, the, the 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 platform that they had, the, or the goals that they had set for themselves. And so the the the, the coup or the coup occurred. Uh, of history. Now, uh, as I say, I went to jail. I came out of jail. I served in the private sector for a while. Then I was uh, uh, called and commissioned, appointed chief of police, director of police. Uh, that in the PRC government. And then the Second Republic, uh, 1986, I was reappointed director of police. <coughs> uh, there are many things happening. One of the things that uh, I, I, that we did, and that I was proud of, and people don't know, that 1985 elections, I think that were the best elections ever held in this country, the first and best. We we put everything we had into that elections, everything we had went right there. Okay, the outcome of the election, we had nothing to do with it. The conduct of the election is one thing. No violence, nothing. Okay, the outcome of the election, that was not our business. We, we, we had nothing to do with it. Uh, the politicians. But then you had the, 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 the and this is another issue that, 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 that I, was, I was in America. I, I, I appeared before a small committee at your office, January 12th, I think, of, of this year. And I, I testified, I was there with them for about 2 hours, 15 minutes or so. And I told them I was going away because I was not well. I went away January, and while I was abroad, in August or so, I read on the internet that uh, I had been called here to the, TR, uh, to the TRC. I said, well, if you know where I am, they know I'm sick. And I, I. So when, when I came back, I, in good faith, I immediately contacted you people and said, look, I'm back in town, Sight uh, me, you know? And so here, here I am. But while I was abroad, I heard a lady, a lady, surprisingly, uh, and, and, and Reverend Roberto Phillips said that, saying, I, Wilfred Clark, in my position as director of police, left my office and went to the prison compound and, inter and interviewed or interrogated, interrogated her brother who was incarcerated there, Robert Phillips, 
and I tortured him and I said that if you didn't in implicate Mrs. Salif in the 85 abortive coup, abortive coup, you wouldn't leave from here, you wouldn't leave, even, even the Americans, when I, I read this thing on the internet, oh, in America, I read on the internet and I hit the ceiling, boom, my family, my children, my brothers, Say you gotta address this situation. Can I let it go? I said no. People know me. I said people know me. People know. People who know me know I, I I'm above those kind of things there. But I'm I'm happy that today also I have the opportunity to address that because I mean I try to I try to to, to demean myself in a professional uh, manner. And there are officers in the service today and officers who are retired. Who can testify to that? That Mr. Clark conducted himself in an honorable manner, in a professional manner, when the chief of police. And I wouldn't leave my office when I got a core of officers and go to the prison compound to interrogate somebody. But the nice thing is that those who those who participated in that in that 1985 abortion, they, they were not concealing themselves. They, they were not hiding, they didn't do anything like that. Suddenly. They were out there in the street that day, up and down, riding cars, talking on the radio, talking on the telephone. They, they hope, the public knew them. The public saw them. So why would I go to this guy in the prison and tell him, look, you don't call this person name. And when, when, when everybody knew all the, all, the, all, the, all the actors, most of the actors in, in that. And, uh, and let, let, let me... Uh, when I became chief of police, sometime General Kuwampa called me to the to the barracks, the commanding command general, commanding officer. He said, Director Clark, we satisfied with you, you're doing a good job, etc. etc. He said, well, one thing on my mind, I don't you. So where is that? Well, I'm waiting for the PRC government now. Uh, so. He said, "Look, my dingo boys, that guy in the force, that Bengali Zizi, or Fali Kita." And he went on him and he said, "When I see them, my blood boil." I, you know, I said, "But chief, what are we doing?" He said, "I want to get rid." Of. I said, "No, I'm sorry, I can't get rid of them because they're my dingoes." I said, "The the the the, the, the my dingoes are tribe in Liberia, and the police has rules and regulations." And if these people violate the rules and religion, or they, or they, or they violate the laws of Liberia, yes, I will take action against them. But I will not do it because of the tribe affiliation. Okay, so I mean, I, I stood my grounds and he said, okay, I hear what you say. So I left him. I went. After uh, uh, some time, President Doe called me <laughs> one day. He said, come Clark. He said, Hey, you're doing a good job. I like the way you're working, etc. You got my confidence, blah, blah, blah. He said, but don't give your boss that you got on the fourth day. <laughs> you got get. And he named me about five or seven of them. He said, don't give your boss that you can't trust them. I told Mr. Doe, President Doe, the same thing I told General Boba. I said, we got rules and regulations. I can't get fired these boys here because they give you. You know what I'm saying? I said, but where is it? But then I left the president's office. And that evening I went home, about 4, 4, 10, and I called these boys, these officers, uh, police officers. I called them to my house, about 5, 7, and I called them to my house. And I said, I said, gentlemen, I got a call today. I went to the president and prayed my fire you. He said, because you know, uh, tribal affiliation. I said, but I told you, I can't fire you. Now, I stood up for you guys. I stood up for you guys. Now, I, don't make me shame, because... I, I, I don't want tomorrow somebody come and point finger and say, we told you about these fellows and you see where the, 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 the corner is said Amongst them were, were, the, were Yomi and uh, one or two of them here, still here in town today. So they, they, they're here. So, uh, come, April, come November 12, 1985, these same boys, five of them came to my house that morning and uh, to arrest me. The same officers who Mr. Doe had told me to get rid of, and I called them to my house and advised them, came to my house to arrest me that morning. And, 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 and Minicom, Patrick Minicom had called me and said, Wilfred, when the people come for you, 
I beg you, please come get me because you know I don't want I don't want to expose my family. So we went, we pick up Pat. We pick Pat up. And uh we we, we live here there is. So we drove up here there is a road to the junction of the main road there, uh, the, the T junction of there. And I, I I was driving my car because one of them, one of the, the, the boys who came to arrest me, one of the officers who came to arrest us, was anxious to drive my car. He wanted to drive my car in the way he was saying, look, hey, hold it there, man. Nobody's going to hurt me. Nothing. You, you, I, 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 I'm under your... And he took my badge. He took my badge. He took my badge on me. And the boy who took my badge is here today. He, he, he in Liberia. Listen to what I'm saying. This is... The boy who took my badge from me. He here. Took my back. So we got to this T junction here, there we run the main place there. And because we have been monitoring the radio, we knew that everybody was being uh, uh, taken to ELBC that morning. Okay. I put on my signal light left and right to make a right turn to go. Yeah, he said, No, 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 let go. We'll take you to the mansion. I was driving. So I put on signal light left and I came down, took my boulevard. We drove. I mean, the traffic was clear. We drove until we got to City Hall. We got to City Hall. Boom! I mean, we were stopped by armed men. Jumped in the road, blah, blah, blah. So, Pat and myself sitting down in the car there. And, uh, who there? Bam! They started opening the door. I said, hey, hold it there, hold it there. What, 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 what happened? No chief, no chief. They didn't recommend. No chief. What, what, what happened? I said, these people here arrested us. He said, Chief, let, let, you know, excuse me, ladies here, the public, uh, we we deal with these people. I said, no, nobody deal with anybody. These are my officers. They came to arrest me. Okay, you people say, well, they say what they carry me. I said, they say they carry me to the mansion. All right, Chief, you don't save their life. So we got my car. We got back in the car. We drove to the mansion. Got to the mansion. I went upstairs. I met the president, tied him myself. Talk to the president. Came back down and said, I took this boy to my office. So these are officers under my command. Governed by rules and regulations of the Liberian National Police, the Code of Conduct, Code of Ethics, the laws of Liberia. You understand? Know and I protected them. All this thing happened on November 12, 1985. Now, if I did that to my officers and they are still living, Today, except for you, mean who acted foolish, you know, during the Taylor time, they kill him, etc. Okay. The, 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 the thing is, I didn't treat them in any manner, we, except that we held investigation, which was normal, etc. But why would I then go to the prison compound to, 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 to in, in investigate or interrogate a prison? Well, when I had my officers, they who had acted illegally who are taking my badge and all of that who were part of the who were part of the the, the free who were, were part of the 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 uh, the, the, the abortive and, and, and coup or invasion so i mean when when the, and this lady who made this remark about me uh she's a member of the, she's a member of the cloth so really i i say well you know uh, it just for my name because my name I mentioned here, you know, but as, as I say, there are, there are men and women in the Liberian National Police Service today and retired who are here in this country who can testify that I, I was involved those kind of things and the Liberian National Police were not involved in no kind of investigation. Those investigations were being held by the Army and by the NSA. They're not being held by the police. See? And uh, <laughs> well, what, what is funny is that this day, November 12th, November 12th, my boss man's birthday, that Jiggins Scott birthday. This is our Minister of Justice. And they stripped Jiggins Scott naked and walked him through the streets here and took him to, 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 to BBC. Police officers did that. Police officers did that to, 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 to our chief. Minister of Justice is the chief of, is the chief of police. He's the, he's the chief law enforcement officer of, of the country. I mean, the Attorney General, the lawyer, the, the he, the, the Attorney General or the Minister of Justice, whosoever you want to call him, is the Chief Law Enforcement Officer of the land. And this man was was stripped naked on his birthday, his natal day, and walked through the streets 
carrying to, to, to BTC. My officers did that. You see, and we did not do anything. We didn't kill any officer. I protected them. Okay. So when 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 I found out that the 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 the, 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 the force had become so so uh, divided by tribalism and uh, I couldn't I couldn't manage the force honestly I found my 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 authority being eroded uh, so that and 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 and, and other uh, Serious violation of the law. Uh, 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 the, the public, the public were were, were 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 suffering because of these uh, 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 ethnic differences. The public were, were being victimized. So uh, I resigned. I resigned, and I left the country. So uh, in, in a nutshell, that that covered my my service. During that period, from 1962 until 1980, no, until 19, until 19, uh, until 1990, May, May 29. Okay. Then, as I say, I came back in November 2003, ending November, and I and I and I worked uh, until January 16, 2006. <laughs> now, uh, I, I, again. In the beginning, I said, I hold myself, I avail myself to you all. Any questions you'd like to ask me uh, as to my conduct or to my service or what people have said about me, etc., I am here to, 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 to try to the best of my ability to address those issues that concern to you. Thank you. For the Thank you very much, <coughs> sir, for making that presentation and Okay, we want to say thanks for the presentation. As you said, we'll move into questions. Say what, sir? We'll move into questions from yes, the commission. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. We'll start with Commissioner Cooper. Three. Testing, testing. Thank you. Welcome, Mr. Witness. And thank you for sharing with us the introduction points that you did give us. I have a couple of questions I would like to start with. Um, from your presentation, you gave us a summary of your activities from 1962 to about 1989 or 1990. And is it true that you said you left Liberia around May of 1990, right? May 29 and left the same day. May 29, 1990. Okay. And then you went and you stayed in America from 1990 until 2003? Yes, sir. Which is again May. So what? Around May. No. September. Oh, September. I, I didn't come to Liberia until, until uh, November, I said, 2003. Oh, November. Okay. Yeah. But uh, it, it, when I say, the reason I say September, because I was called to Ghana. Uh, I was offered this position in Ghana, and then I went back to America because of working. I had to go back there and close shop there. So I didn't come to Liberia until after the inauguration. I was not even here for the inauguration in October 2003, October 14 or so. I was not here. Okay. I didn't come until the, until the end of November because I was uh, closing shop. I uh, what I was doing there. Okay. Um, one question I want to start off with. It seems that when the coup took place in 1980, you said at that time you were Minister of State? Deputy. I Deputy was Holder was his minister. Burley Holder. Yeah, Burley Holder was the minister. Uh, it, 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 April 14, 1979, the Reich riots, and the Brandner Commission 
uh, re re recommended certain ministers to be retired or, de or, 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 or dismissed, whatsoever you want to call it. And Bali Hula was then Minister of Defense, National Defense, uh, up to November, I mean up to April 12, 1980, April 14, 1979. And uh, he was dismissed, but then the Ministry of National Security was created, I won't say for him, <laughs> but it was created and he became the first minister and I was his principal deputy. So as Minister of National Security. Yeah, Minister Minister Ministry of State for National Security. Oh, okay. So that's different from the position of the secretary to the president or the minister of state in the presidential mansion. Say that again, please. There's a position called Minister of State. The person who works directly in the mansion with the president, yeah. taking appointments and organizing oh, the oh, schedule. Oh, I, I told you, you're a lawyer, you, you know, they can have many ministers of state. Mm -hmm. Because you got minister of state with a portfolio, you got minister of state, you know. Mm -hmm. But he was minister of state for Ministry of National Security. Okay, so who was the minister of state for the minister of state? The president of the republic. <laughs> no, I mean, beside the who was the next person to the president in the mansion? Oh, uh, no, in, in those days, who, who, who was it? Was it Regina Townsend? Oh, who was the minister of state? The Dunn, or uh, I don't know. No, I don't think Ewudo. Oh, okay. Who was yeah, Talbot administration, right? Eh? Up yeah, the coup. Talbot administration. Yeah, I, I think what Ewudo. Okay. Yeah. So he was the minister of state proper. Yeah, he was the minister of state proper, yeah. So they created. Yeah, because, because Townsend, Townsend had left the job and become chairman of the Tory party. At the, at the death of, of, of Goodrich, after the death of Goodrich, Thompson became chairman of the party. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then this Ministry of National Security was created, what year again? It was 79, what month? <laughs> Approximately. It was after the commission finished their findings, right? After, so the, maybe, after the Brownhead Commission. Okay, so November, December, like that. Yeah. Okay. And what was the term of reference? Was it something that they passed as legislature or just the president created the ministry? No, an act was written. We, okay. We got, it, it, you know, it, it, from then, this thing had, had been continuing on and on and on. Uh, Mr. Doe could continue it. Uh, he appointed Mr. Minicom, mm -hmm. uh, Minister for national security okay. and uh, succeeding administrations have carried, have perpetuated this office. Okay, so it started in 1979. Yeah. So it, I was just trying to understand what, what, the terms of reference. It, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I won't say, I won't say I, no, I won't say 79. What year was that? Because April 14, 1980. 19, no, April 14, the Red Riots. Oh, that's 79. It's 79, okay. It was after, this, after the Red Riot that uh, the Banner Commission. Correct. Uh, okay, yes. So it started 79. Yeah, yeah. And what was the term of reference for that ministry? You mentioned about security have different levels intelligence, to task, to intelligence, to task, intelligence checking, or. To, to task, mm -hmm. T A S K, task. To task, mm -hmm. to monitor, to coordinate. To collate the intelligence and security law enforcement apparatus of the Republic and report directly to the President. So that would mean the police, all types of SSS, everything? Y yes, sir. Yes, and sir. it would include not only intelligence gathering, yes, but sir. also enforcing and everything else, right? Take, for example, an, 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 an operation like the OEU, mm -hmm. when we had the OEU. Our, our office was a coordinating office. Mm -hmm. We were responsible for the, even though the indi individual security apparatus and law enforcement were operating, but we, we coordinated the activities of even the, and, and the, the military. You see, because... Even the military? Even the military, because you, 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 power doesn't operate in a vacuum, sir. Okay. You, you got to have a central command structure. So even immigration, people coming in out of the country? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Uh, and now uh, something that the, the people here in this country don't, don't recognize is customs. Customs is a law enforcement uh, uh, agency, and and there are times when we, if we if we if we think it is necessary, we can we can uh, we can call in the customs and, and get a certain assignment as it relates to national security. Because customs is an enforcement agency. Okay. They carry badge. They wear uniform. And with you say Mr. Holder was the minister proper, and you were his direct deputy. But deputy. What was your focus? Administration or operations? Sure. Operation. I, we, we have one deputy, mm -hmm. and our man. So in essence, everything was under you, but yes, you were number two man. Okay. So where's Mr. Holder today? Is he still with us here in Liberia? Is he alive or? He's alive. He's in America. In America. He wrote a book. He got my name in the book. Is it good or bad? <laughs> Bad. <laughs> oh, I see. What's the name of the book? Uh, I don't. I don't. You forgot the name, even though it's bad. I won't, I won't read it. I won't. <laughs> All right. So what I'm trying to understand is the premise. So here you are, the number two man in charge of the total security of this first independent nation in Africa. I tell you something. Anything man. that happened, you guys should have known about it. And then, under your watch. The 19th president of this republic and the head of the whole OAU got assassinated and killed, and you didn't know anything about it. So how could that happen as a professional man with that kind of portfolio sound, and responsibility? You make it sound like a big crime, like it's a sin. Well, I'm just, <laughs> these are the facts. I'm just wait to you. Wait, 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 you make it sound like it's a big crime. I mean, is that the only... I'm, I'm not coming on. I'm not give, make, making an excuse. Mm -hmm. As I said, we were investigating. Mm -hmm. You understand? And uh, like the wrong area. The, yes. Mm -hmm. And and the the carpet was taken for on us. But you you had you, you, you this thing was building up now for years. Mm -hmm. We're building up for and then you you had all kind of external influences. Yeah, that extent. Don't, don't forget the, 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 the principal. Our principal was Mr. Talbot. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Talbot was president of the country. Mr. Talbot had his own ideas, his own goals. Mr. Talbot wanted to, he wanted, I, 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 I'm, I'm being subjective now. He, 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 I think he wanted Nobel Peace Prize. But Mr. Talbot was a non aligned. Mm -hmm. He pursued a non aligned uh, 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 policy. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he, even though we were friends of the, uh, of the, and these were Cold War days, these were the days of the Cold War, East West, and, uh, and Mr. Toba uh, identified himself with Mr. Shesetsky, he identified uh, with uh, North Korea, and uh, what they call the people said, North, North, North Korea, because we, we, we had, we, we, with the PRC, you, you, you know, we had Taiwan in, in Hapa, the Lipsuko, the sugar factory, and, and they had to close down uh, Taiwan, and, 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 the, and, the, and the PRC came in, the People's Republic of China, and uh, so he, he, he was pursuing a, a, a non-aligned cause, yeah. and uh, like I was saying to somebody yesterday, during the time of Ian e. Smith, R R Southern Rhodesia, and the and the, the war for independence, we, we raised money. In the Tower Mission raised money. Every Liberian he 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 he, 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 he re we requested every Liberian to contribute a dollar, and we raised something like six hundred forty-one thousand uh, dollars, Liberian dollar. But then we had parity one on one, and we converted to U.S. and we went and presented it in Libreville, Gabon. To Mugabe, uh, Mushiriwa, and uh, Ikomo. So uh, we we were pursuing those those the, 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 that line of non-alignment to to the the dissatisfaction of our some of our traditional friends. Like America, I don't know. I, I'm I'm saying I'm speaking. Okay. <laughs> the dislike of some of our, our traditional friends and. Uh, and so, even when uh, Mr. Tobo visited the United States, the last visit to the United States, I think was in February or March of 1980, he visited the, the, the United States. 
And from there, he had planned, he had planned going to, to Havana, to pay a visit to Havana. And uh, Cecil, the foreign minister, Cecil then had gone ahead. But I was in national security, I was in Morovia. I never, I didn't travel with, I didn't, in my position at national security, I, didn't, I don't travel with the president. the president. I was not a president body guy, as I said. But I know Cecil was, had gone ahead. But the, the United States government refused for the president to leave the United States and fly to Havana. So you know, you go, to, go, back to, go back to Liberia or go somewhere else, somewhere neutral place, and then you can go to Havana. But you cannot fly from here to Havana. All of these things that were Mr. Tobert. So, uh, you know, when you say that you national security man, the 19th president of the country, the oldest republic, you sat down there on your laurels and let them, they had things that were building up to that. Besides the, 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 the domestic politics, the domestic politics, the three party, the three party had come to a place where, as I say, they had lost the, 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 the goals. Uh, don't forget now, in, in those days, everybody was someone who was true party. True party had educated people. They had true party had, had created an army, a professional army. We had Liberians that had gone to command General Staff College. They had gone to Fort Benning, Fort Bragg. It's like they had, I mean, the American military mission was here. We had a well-trained army, so good officers, and I know, I know, qualified officers, and uh, they, 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 they were here and. We, we, we were sending people at the same time to Romania. We were sending people at the same time to Eastern, Eastern uh, Communist East Black countries for training. I was sending people there also. I, 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 on, on the, I had relations with the interior, uh, the Minister of Interior. I sent police officers, I sent uh, investigators. Uh, handwriting experts, all the kind of things, we send them there. We're benefiting from, from those programs. And we had, we incurred the, uh, the enemies because of those national policies and our domestic problem. So it, it was something that, and we're not God, Mr. Como, you know, uh, look, I don't want to name country, but incidents that just happened just over the weekend around us in the world today. You can see that security is not a total entity. It, it, it has uh, weaknesses. It has uh, loopholes. And uh, as I said, I'm not making I'm not making excuse, but uh, I don't care how you try. Uh, it's not 100% security. Thank you for such honesty. But let's get back to another point. Then, can you honestly say that you, in that position, did not know about the coup coming? I, I did not tell you that we were investigating officers. Okay, so that means what was the purpose of that investigation? We, we, we had, we, the NSA mm -hmm. had, the, the, the NSA were the foot soldiers. Okay. NSA were the foot soldiers. They just sent us intelligence. The All police, right. counterintelligence. The police is an intelligence agency also. They sent us reports, look, we see people having a meeting here, we hear. Uh, all of these things come in and we collect this, this, this information. But, uh, if we were not so, we wouldn't have had these officers that were investigating. And but the NCOs took the carpet from under us. The junior officers, while we were looking at echelon, top ranking officers, the NCOs, the sergeants, the corporals, came and uh, surprised us. As an element of warfare, surprise, eh? The, the late Jabo, who was he? Major, he was a major. He was a commission so officer. Be the, be that that because Java was with the government. He, he, he was a commission officer. He refused to, to, to join him. Mm. He refused to join the coup makers. But yet we heard that he was plotting one himself. I don't know. I don't have any evidence because Jabo and myself were together up on terror about five o'clock that morning. Okay. He was with me. So who were the key people that y'all had suspicion of? carrying out this coup that you are investigating. And why? Because you said you are focusing on the commission officers. So did you get some intelligence that these commission officers were planning to overthrow the government? These people were in jail. They were in jail when the coup was called. Oh, so, but <laughs> wouldn't you think that here I am a commission officer and I'm planning something and then I know I'm going to get caught and put in jail. Don't you think that command could have gone down to a non-commissioner and say, look, no, in the event you see me in jail, 
your takeover? It doesn't work that way, sir. It doesn't oh, work so that your way. intelligence showed you that wasn't it? It doesn't work that way. So it was like an independent motivation of the non-commissioned officers that made them decide to stage a coup, not it, the again, connection. Again, again, again you, you, you jump the gun. You see, you, 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 you jump the conclusion. No, I'm just trying to understand. Evidence. No, please, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. You jump the conclusion that you can I don't know what motivated, I don't know what were the motive, what inspired these 17, so-called 17 men. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether they were, they were, they were instigated by, from external forces or what, I don't know, I can't say that. So your intelligence I, didn't give you any information on that level? I went to jail. They did. No, that's the aftermath or before? Yeah, no, 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 because I, 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 I always been, I, 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 I always been pro West. Mm -hmm. I, 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 for say I've known myself, I've been all over the world. Mm -hmm. I always use American dollar. Any country I go to America, they never fail me yet. You understand me? So, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, 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 the issue European thing was, it was not, I'm not a politician. I, I, I'm, I'm an American or pro Western. So, huh? you're saying then that the motivation for those non commissioned could have been a non American aligned or what they call a pro communist group that I could can't. have done it? You know, you, you got to look at it, you got to look at the sequence of, of events. How are they? You had politics, local politics, I said. Mm -hmm. you, 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 don't, don't forget about the domestic side. The, the, the three party had been undermined or, 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 or authority had been eroded. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. okay. so like they had the conference in Buchanan, they had the youth wing. All, all kind of, they tried to, 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 to revive the party. Uh, or, and uh, so also we, the security apparatus had socialists leaning Liberians, mm -hmm. Moja people, Susuku people, PPP people. We had them in jail. We we're investigating them also. We had these people in jail. Okay. Now, look at what, what, what happened. April 12th, 1980, East-West conflicts. We had the, the Eastern Black guy, the Western Black. Uh, Mr. Mr. Regan, Mr. Regan, five, seven days after the coup, boom, he throws in $500 million. $500 million, he get a PRC government. $500 million, nobody couldn't do it. Russia couldn't do it. Czechoslovakia couldn't do it, uh, Romania couldn't do it, so he swept the rock from under the feet of those socialist people, the social, the, the so-called progressives. He took the carpet from under them, so they, they think it came around. They began to work with Mr. Doe, with the PRC. Then you had to, to neutralize, I mean jail now, and I'm making all of these de and deductions. Yeah, listen to me now. <laughs> he, 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 they had to neutralize. That how come you got the Western factor, faction being eliminated? That how come you got some of them, or the, the so-called progressive, leaving the country because they, 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 they couldn't find their way in this, in this new political uh, environment that had been uh, uh, brought into being by Mr. Reagan by Mr. Regan Cotton, Mr. Doe, and Kuwamba, that group of moderates in the, in, in, in the junta. You follow me? Yeah, I'm following. Okay, all right, good. I hope I, I, hope I, I asked. You no, can, I, thank you. I appreciate you, what you're you, saying. You, I, I didn't know you brought me here for all of that. I thought, <laughs> this is, this is, all of these things now that are my professional, uh, uh, my, 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 my professional judgment and mm -hmm. in, in, my professional deduction rather. Mm -hmm. One question I was concerned about also, um, after that situation happened, they, you said you were arrested immediately or you turned yourself over but then the Tipotes group told you don't worry we'll call you when we need yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then later on yeah. they needed you and they called you and they arrested you, is that yes, correct? Yes sir, yes sir. So how long were you in jail and were you, what jail were you in? Was it Belayala or did yeah, it I, I, was, I was in jail I said for eight, eight months, 23 days. Eight months. And during this period I said, I went to all the prison, I went to the post here, I went to 
MP headquarters, I went to Central Prison, I went to Bella Yala. They were moving me around because uh, people in my position, people in my position don't 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 survive coups. Yeah, that's why I was asking how were you man lucky enough to survive? People that they killed position, so many other people. People in my position don't 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 survive coups. Mm -hmm. So uh, they were thinking they were, I was a hot potato. Mm -hmm. They were thinking what to do with me. And they couldn't do anything. Well, they could if they were. But but then, like I said, Mr. Regan had, had come in with $500 million. So they had to do things to satisfy him. So you had some contacts on that side. I, that I, I'm not saying that. You're making oh. that conclusion. Well, you, I'm just... You, you make that deduction. In your testimony, you mentioned that you had some good contacts in the CIA. Some Ooh, friends. I, I said that. Well, maybe this is an error in this writing. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> You got that, that thing I said, it was in January. Yeah. You got copy of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I'm concerned about that. By them. I'll tell you yeah. by the my, my friends Let, then in America, hello, in the CIA. Hello. Mm -hmm. oh. I, I was trained by the Israelis, I was trained by the Americans. And I trained here in Liberia. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, and I said, I pro West. I just said it to you here. I mm -hmm. said, I pro West. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, that, that's what I said. And, and I, I'm not ashamed to say that. No, I'm just nothing to be ashamed of. I'm, I'm pro-Western. I'm a self-pro-Western. And, 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 uh, and I, I, I didn't, I'm not aligned to them self selfishly. It, they, my country has benefited, no. they, my people have we benefited are, from, my, from my alliance with the, with, with the West. We are just trying to understand the root causes of this event that took place in 1980. Yes, sir. Which was a triggering mechanism for ongoing series of events from 80 to 2003. Well, so when I'm asking the questions, I'm not asking them personally in any way. I'm just no, trying no, to no, 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 no. And, and, and I, I hope you know that you know that I'm, I'm magnanimous. I'm not taking it. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm happy to help you. All right. I'm, you. I'm happy to. I'm, I'm happy to to let you know. I, I'm proud of my knowledge, okay. etc. You know my experience. So yeah. I was just concerned that when Mr. Tarbo was going to this left side like this, was there any attempt made to connect to you? from the security sector of the CIA, et cetera, to sort of protect the situation or to turn an eye and let something happen they didn't or like it. what? The Americans didn't like it. Oh. They didn't like it. They expressed it to me. Mm -hmm. they, they expressed it to me on question. They even expressed it to me about Mr. Doe, okay. Mr. Doe's conduct, mm -hmm. you know? So uh, they, they, they didn't approve of it. I see. But Mr. Togo, as I say, was, he, 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 he had his own goals. He has his own ideology. He, he, he has his, his own uh, 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 programs that you are pursuing. Okay. All right. Thank you. Another thing, you said that you faced the tribunal, right? After the 1980? What were yes. some of the questions or concerns that they had for you? And at the end, did they just find you innocent and decide to let you go or what? I don't know. I never saw the report. I never saw it, but I talked to them like I'm talking to you. I'm a professional man. I mean, I, I had no hang up. I, they, they say, what? They, 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 they say, what? Rampant corruption? They say, <laughs> rampant corruption? Or what I can't hear? I, 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 was, I was all right. I didn't feel that I was guilty of any of those charges that they had. And so when I went to them, I went to them to inform them, to educate them. To, and uh, and I, they, they, they remark, but people come here to us and they're shaking, they, they're trembling, etc. And you come to us, you're friendly, you're joking with us, you're laughing, etc. Yeah, that's me. I mean, you, they guys, they do my friends. St. Quinny, all the fellas there, the, 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 the Ekoma there, they do the, the, my friends. In, in, I mean, we we're not enemies. And, and, uh, and, and, and they knew my position. So uh, when, when I went before them, I was not intimidated at all. No, I understand that. I was just trying to get information of what they were looking for for those so-called guilty people that they wanted to kill because they were corrupt. One of the questions they asked me, you work for two presidents. Uh, what do you think about the coup? Uh, was it justifiable or not? I said to say what justifiable. I, I'm a lawman. No coup justifiable to me. Period. The first thing. But inevitable, yeah. The coup was inevitable. But it was not justifiable. I, I, I know that to, to change government, you got to go to the polls. You can't change government with violence. I, 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 I respect the law. Okay. okay. 
All right. Another point. You mentioned that you knew many of the people or so-called the people who did the 85 coup were well-known. Everybody knew them. Besides Kuwampa, could you give me some of those well-known people that everybody knew about the 1985 I've been here since the end of September. I got back from the state. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been hearing people come before you and calling a lot of names, etc. Why you, you want to hear from me? No, everybody's view is different. We just try yeah, to understand the and gather information. Somebody seen you. The name they've been calling. Example. <laughs> oh my lord. Hey, Mr. Harry Greek in here. Harry Greek. Yeah. yeah. yeah Harry Greek. And hey, Joe Wiley in here. He, he spoke. Yeah. So with regard. I'm sorry, my friend. My friend. Where where going? Frank the uh, Stone. John Stone. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're not here. Also, that, that Muja man, where, where I used to arrest them. Oh. He was one of those involved, or what? What are you saying? <laughs> I know, I know, they, I, I know all of them. You see, so uh, oh. they, they, uh, the lots of things that that uh, they did. So you're saying he was, he may have been one of those I too. I say he was one of those, oh. but he, the organization, he oh. was part of an organization. Muja, yeah, yeah. Oh. Muja Susuku. And you feel those? And Mr. Talbot. You know, Mr. Tobo was a card carry member of, of Susuku. Mr. Tobo. Yeah, Mr. Tobo, mm. Brent Tobo. He raised a Susuku man. Mm -hmm. Susuku had no more goals. Mr. Tobo was a farmer. Okay. okay, you mentioned something about one Mr. Phillips and that you had nothing to do with the interrogation question. My, my, okay. I, I, I'm surprised that I don't know what this leader's motive is. Okay, no question. I don't know, honestly. And what? she's a member of the club. She's a woman. I don't want to enter, but but as I say, there are officers in the service now mm -hmm. at that police headquarters. Mm -hmm. There are officers who have been retired in Monrovia. Mm -hmm. There, are some of the officers who I said arrested me, and I I I I I, 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 I got involved in it and saved the lives. They are here in Liberia now in Monrovia. If I didn't take action against those officers, why would I go to the prison compound? Look, my friend, mm -hmm. I try to respect myself. As chief of police, I, 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 I demean myself in a way that my, my officers had high regards for me. Mm -hmm. I, I conducted that. the affairs of that office in a professional manner. And I'm not hooting my own horn. Ask them. Ask people who work for me and with me. Ask, ask the public. I, I, that's how I dealt with it. I, I respect the rule of law. I respect the code of conduct and ethics of the, of the police profession. I wore my uniform with dignity. And when I couldn't wear that uniform with dignity, I resigned. Okay, the question I want to ask was, in your opinion, was there anything that the true party had on Mr. Phillips with regard to involvement in the 85 coup? The true that, party? Not sorry, the, uh, the PRC. That the, made the, the, them the put him in jail? You the know. PRC, the mm -hmm. PRC. They had something on him with involvement in the coup. That a, made them a, lot, in jail. A, a, a lot of them were, were, were arrested okay. because they didn't hide. Mm -hmm. they, they were not in concealment. They were up and down in vehicles that day. I mean, they, 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 they were open, and, and 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 it just happened that it snapped, it backfired. That would always say it were aborted or aborted. Okay. You see, okay. they, 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 they were not hiding. They were not clandestine. So around that time, you hadn't been put in charge of the police department yet, right? I had no one. During that time, the 85, when this coup took place, the failed uh, aborted coup, you were not with the police department at that time? Yeah, I was chief of police. Oh, so you, I thought... And they that, arrested me. Okay. I said the police arrested me. My officers arrested me that morning, November, no, no, November 12, 1985. Okay. I was arrested by my officer. So when did you become chief of police then? I became chief of police July 4, July 4. 1982. Oh, 82? Yeah. July 4, 82. Oh, so right after you were released, but not too far after you were released from prison, yes, by sir. 82, they had already put I worked, you I worked release. for the then B.F. Goodrich for a while, or Godfrey. Godfrey bought a plantation. The rubber plantation okay. there in, in Birmingham. Yeah. I worked with them for a while, for a short while. And then I was there when I was appointed. So then as chief of police, you were, the, you were the key man in town that could know all the details of those potential <laughs> people who were involved in that coup, right? I was in charge of law enforcement. I was not the key man. No. I was in charge of law enforcement. Correct. That's and and you, had, you, had, you had the NSA mm -hmm. intelligence. 
apparatus. Eh? Yeah. You had the Ministry of National Security, Intelligence mm -hmm. gathering, yes? Yeah? Okay. The police were responsible for day to day. And yes, we we monitored we monitored radio communication. We monitored telephone communications. We saw actors, mm -hmm. people who were and so and they were not they were not hiding as I say my my point I'm holding is that we were at, at no time involved in the investigation. This event held by the mansion, the military, and the NSA. Who was one of the directors of Sylvester Moses? The police had nothing to do with it, you see. No, why did the lady come police? over here and say and lie on me? Why, why, why should they? I don't know her motive, the reason why she said it. I don't know. At but don't let, don't let, do, 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 let forget about her. At that time, didn't they have a coordinating system for the security? So you were kept in the loop, right? Of what was happening? No, 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 no. They, 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 they had, they had, but it, it, it didn't, it didn't kick in. It didn't come into play. They, they, there were no joint security, joint security investigation. Mm -hmm. No, there were, no, there were no joint security because my, my chief was in, my, my chief was was uh, affected, and in those days, the joint security was the minister of national defense. The, the, the Joint Security, the, the coordinator was Minister of National Defense. Okay. Don't, don't forget now, this is a military government uh, who said uh, in the 1985 military, it's, the military turned to civilian in 1986, they were. Okay. So you mentioned also during the uh, election that it was one of the best elections you felt yes. in this country. Yes. But as head of the police, yes. um, I, 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 I planned it. I planned, I planned the police operations. Yeah, it, it I was understand. Total police operation, and, and we and we did our best. Mm -hmm. It was no problem, nothing. It was, I mean, perfect. And it hit okay. me like hell. Excuse what? my expression. That at the end of that peaceful election, mm -hmm. then problem came at the at the end of it. Then what came? Problems. Oh, problems. Problems in Do you believe there was such a problem? you believe that it's true that the government may have hijacked that election and falsely put themselves in the power when it wasn't correct? I took an oath mm -hmm. to the best of my to the best of my knowledge, yes. Okay. Thank you. I took an oath. When 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 you take I mean we're not, we're not a stupid person but when you take a, a process that, 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 that has an organization, you have an election commission responsible for the conduct of the elections. And at the end of that, of that process, you come and, 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 and uh, organize a committee to, to, to do the, 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 the counting uh, that would have not said that something had to be wrong. Something had to be wrong. So it take a rocket scientist to, 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 to find that one out. Okay. <laughs> now what was the reason or conditions under which you left Liberia, please, in 19... So what? What were the conditions under which you left Liberia in 1990? I flew out of here. I went by plane. <laughs> you flew out? <laughs> yeah, I flew out of our office. So it was in, you said 1990 May, right? May 29, 1990. So it was just sort of fear of the way things were going, as you mentioned earlier. <clears throat> the only reason? I've been everything. I had been everything. I've been chief of intelligence, chief of security. So I knew the feeling. I know, I know the symptoms, you know. And uh, I sent my family out. I sent my family out. And uh, so when 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 they got to the place, when I went to America, went to America when. I went to America, I think, in, 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 in April, March, March, March of 1990, I went to America. And uh, I was invited to the State Department. And I met with uh, Ambassador Perkins. He was then, I think, Director General of Foreign Affairs uh, at the U.S. State Department. Perkins had been here as Ambassador. So he was my friend, he knew me. So when you know, you see, he invited me, I went to him, and he had the head of the librarian desk, he had one of his assistant secretaries, and we sat down and talked, the four of us, we sat down and talked, and it pointed out certain things to me, and uh, uh, the, 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 the 
they identify one of the things they say look uh, this you, you say that there's a special relationship between the United States of America and Liberia but then you don't behave that way you know uh, P President Bush senior George Bush had sent Vernon, Vernon, Vernon Walters General Vernon, Vernon Walters as a special emissary he has sent him here to see Mr. Doe see President Doe and, uh, and, and, and President Doe had said that look you, 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 you ambassador why you coming to talk to me? Go talk to my foreign minister. You see? So he refused to see the man. And it was the president's, and they had all these things to tell me. He said, it's, it's a slap in the face of the president. The president sent his special envoy to, the, to, to his colleague, and his colleague refused to see him. You know, uh, it's a slap in the face to the man. And, and so many other things they, 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 they mentioned to me. And when I, I, the only reason why they told me those things because they knew that I was going to tell the president. And when I got back, I went and told the president. Fortunately for me, two days after I got back, my boss, the Minister of Justice, had to go to Bond Mines meeting in New York. So I called Ambassador Perkins. I said, look, Jenkins Scott is in the States there. Let me get Jenkins Scott. Why you don't see him? So he said, okay, let me check. He checked and informed. Schedule uh, on, on, on his itinerary to, to fit Jingy in. So I called Jingy. I said, Look, man, go to the State Department. Perkin won't talk with you. So he went there to, to him. I said, I told, I told him, I said, Perkin, I said, Tell Jingy Scott the same thing you told me. You see? And he talked with Jingy Scott. So when Jingy, after the board meeting for four or five days, Jingy returned. Uh, went to see the president, and Jingy say you know he, he was the boss man he was the minister of justice uh, the chief of police so he said well you know don't mind the people that mr president they say because they can't control you so that's why they, they're making all of this and uh, erroneous statement etc etc and then when i said the president told me said clark let me tell you something when it comes to security law enforcement i respect you but this is politics take your mouth out of it i say yes sir mr president <laughs> And I woke up, from that point there, I decided that I was going to leave because I didn't have any, uh, you know. So this meeting you said took place in what year, 89 or? 90. I said, I said I went to the States in, in March 1990. Oh, and, I, and, I, and I left from here, I left from here May 29. You no, know what I'm saying, the meeting with Perkins, with the... Uh, March 1990. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So even after that meeting, it was an attempt to see whether there would be change. But when you got the response you got, you realized there was no hope. Yeah, and the, 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 there were lots of things to say. Lots of things to say. Mm -hmm. Some, some of them are quite embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Quite Please embarrassing. Help Please, yeah? help Please help us with some more information. <laughs> no, no. Some of them confidential, <laughs> eh? Okay. It, 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 I, I think it's necessary. Mm -hmm. it, it, oh, well, it. anything given to us, what is public like this or in confidence helps us to get a clear you know, opinion look, of the uh, okay, uh, like, like when I was talking to Sir Quentin Hood, I was talking to Sir Quentin Hood, yeah, you, you were, they were questioning me like how you uh, I said look, for my position I'm embarrassed because information that gleaned that I got, I got them and I took an oath of secrecy. Mm -hmm. I saw I took an oath of secrecy. Okay. Uh, besides taking the oath of my office, I took an oath of secrecy. That information that come to my attention come to me on national security. And I said, I, I can talk to you perhaps in camera, you understand? Know but to talk to you publicly, I said, I will, I, my, my conscience, my professional conscience will not allow me to. I won't feel good talking certain things. Uh, you, you see, I'm talking to you with a degree of hesitancy. Mm -hmm. It's not that I don't want to cooperate with you, you understand? Know but uh, I can talk with you, follow you in your office, we sit down, we talk. That's why I talk. That, that, that day, I, I had a two hour, 15 minute meeting with two young men, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. and, and you got it, okay, but... Uh, I understand. You're talking to, you talk, you know, remember now, uh, at least, please. All right, I'm, I respect I'm, that. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I appreciate so that. what Thank I would you. recommend to the chair is to please see if we can invite you for a confidential meeting. Yeah, and, 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 and like I told you the latter, and when you call me, I didn't have the cool color, something like that, you get call me. <laughs> you sent me down to him for five hours and you didn't even give me a coke to drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, 
I'm hoping things, honestly. Uh, well, I still don't miss a witness. What happened? You got more questions? Thank you. Huh? I already speaking. You want, you want, I mean, so, so want some national you? security questions? No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, we just want to say thank you for um, responding to our call to come and to share it here. I can't hear you clearly, ma'am. I was saying that we want to thank you for responding to our call to come here and give clarity to some of the things we've heard. Um, I have a few questions. One of them is uh, when you were giving your testimony right now, you said at a point when you realized that your authority was eroding, and that people were being victimized, you resigned. My question is, what do you mean by when people were being victimized? What were those things that they were doing to people that you found so important? You know, you know, uh, <clears throat> after the 1985 abortion invasion, there was, uh, I can say, wish hunting. M M Mr. Koma, you leaving? But they, this is interesting, so you hear some of these things now. <laughs> if you don't mind, I hope you don't feel bad because I say, that, okay, all right. <laughs> and uh, after the 85 thing, the, the, the factory side of the, the tribalism, I mean, it surfaced. The crown, the guilds, then later on, when, when Taylor came into the, the free, the, the Mandingos uh, were brought in, you know, and and so <coughs> there were people that were being killed in this city. People, you're, you're talking about death squad, and not necessarily military people are doing it. Civilians, civilians were doing it. Even they do it. Even schools with their neighbors and, uh, and tri on tribal on tribal grounds. And so I remember. <coughs> One occasion, I went to the president. So, uh, president, uh, lots of things happening in town here, and uh, I understand. I don't have any proof, but I understand that it's being perpetrated by elements of your tribe. Boom! He hit the ceiling. Blah blah blah. I said, Mr. President, I ain't got no, I ain't got no facts, but you know, I, I beg you. If it's not, if it, if it's your people doing it, kindly call them, and then I call a few of your people. I call their names to him. I said, call them and ring them in. You understand? I said because it is bad. The public talking about it, the international community, people are feeling insecure. And then he said, okay, I left me, and believe me, believe me. Two three days after I left the prayer, two days, not even three days, two days, it ceased. It stopped. You understand? I never pursued it. Then uh, my boss, the, the minister of justice, I said, he's the chief of security, he's the chief of police, he's the chief law enforcement officer of the country, the minister of justice, in that country, not, not Liberia, in that country. The attorney general, the, the minister of justice, is the chief law enforcement officer of that country. So my boss uh, seemed not to like the way. I was conducting the affairs of the police. And so he tried to co opt some of my officers and he was running a parallel uh, or thing like order the Ministry of Justice. And, 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 uh, and it, it, again, you know, <coughs> I didn't like it. And I used to tell him about it. I told him, I said, look, let me tell you something. You can do anything you want to do, but you can never destroy this organization. The police is an institution. It's an arm of government. Every government in the world has a, you may not have an army, but you gotta have a police force. I said, so what you're doing is wrong. Uh, and so we, but it was so bad. And my officers, because I'm a Congo man, I don't speak dialect. My officers then start talking dialect on the radio. We're communicating in dialects. Because of what the Minister of Justice had done or was doing. You understand? Undermining my, 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 my authority. Uh, and so, 
uh, I, I couldn't I couldn't administer the affairs of the office and if, if you saw my letter of resignation I mentioned in my letter and, and in my letter of resignation I praised Mr. Doe and I prayed for Mr. Doe I prayed God blessings upon me because if Mr. Doe didn't have confidence in my ability I wouldn't have lasted eight years ten months in, 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 in office if you didn't have confidence in me you understand because Members of the PRC didn't want me to be chief of police. They had their own tribal people they wanted to bring in. But I was Mr. Doe's choice. And not only his choice, but he supported me. You see? And so uh, I, 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 I prayed for him. I said I prayed for him. And I, and I resigned and left the country. But mainly it was because I couldn't administer the affairs of the department. And my authority was being eroded by my boss. By the, by, by the Minister of Justice, and, I, and I, I, I couldn't fight him, there was no need to do that, uh, who, who would listen to me? <coughs> I tell you something, uh, Johnson, I had an assistant director for operation, Joseph Johnson, Cranbor. Uh one evening about four, five, about five o'clock, I'm, I'm in my office looking outside the window, and I see the director for CID, I see the chief of patrol, I see the assistant director for police or operation, and I see the minister of justice. I see four of them getting into a car in the, in the police parking lot. They were far away that evening. I'm standing local sir. Then uh, about 11, 12 o'clock that night, I heard my wife knock me say, you hear what we're talking on the radio? I say, yeah, yeah. She said, where is that? I said, whatsoever they, they're doing, I will know it. I said, it will, will come to the surface in the morning. So that morning, I used to go to work very early. I go to work 7.15 or so that morning. I got my office, and one of my friends, a civilian, drove up behind me and came up to my office. I said, what happened, my man? He said, oh, I have my sympathy. I said, for what? He said, oh, one of your directors were killed last night. I said, you're joking? He said, yeah. Then I called my deputy, fuck by Jim fuck by. I said, you hear to say? He said, no. I said, go investigate, find out. Ten minutes he came out, he said, yeah, Joseph Johnson died last night. How he died? They went to Clay to make medicine, bulletproof medicine. You understand? They were taken by the Minister of Justice to Clay, one witch man, to make bulletproof medicine. They made the medicine and they went to try the medicine, boom! They shot my director, my director died. And they tried to hide it from me. You see, now, to some level, and I went to the president. After I got the information, I got it certified, I went to the president and I said, the press will come to you, send them back to me. Don't answer the press, send the press back to me, I will handle it. The situation. I said, but Mr. President, you got to charge your Minister of Justice. Where well, the Minister of Justice is the cause of this incident. And, and, and nothing happened. When Joseph Johnson died, and it was my responsibility to deal with the family, to deal with the public, etc. You know, the, 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 it was quite embarrassing to me. But I, I charged the officer. I disrobed my director, CID. Everybody who were there, who, who went with them, I disrobed them and put them under administrative suspension, and they were under investigation until I left the country. But I couldn't just rope the Minister of Justice. You see, and these boys were influenced by the Minister of Justice. I think the few who in time, uh, in those days, I'm sure they, 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 they know about this incident I'm talking about. Who was that Minister of Justice? Jimmy Scott. And you said the person who died name was what? John. You say what? The person name, the, the officer name. Who were killed? Yeah. Joseph Johnson. Joseph Johnson. You were assistant director of police for operations. Okay, could you speak to um, two incidents? The LU incident? So sure. the LU incident. Which many incidents are called? Um the nineteen eighty four incident. 
1984. On LU campus. I tell you the truth. And then the great Addison incident. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. But you actually mean, you actually mean to because the military action is under the military. I, I can't com comment on because I remember from that incident, from that incident, the university students uh, named Grady Alice Dracula. They, they were called Dracula <laughs> because they sent the, he sent the troops on, on campus and uh, they they raided the campus, etc. But uh, and and uh, that, that's as much as I know about it. Uh, that. It, it, it was not a police operation. Or, 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 so or you, were not, you were not present on campus when it took place. Say what? You were not present on campus when it took place. Oh, on campus? No. You never went there. 1984? Yeah. No. Until after everything was over. I was not present on campus at no time, 1984. And you never went to inspect after the incident? Say, you speak, never speak went to inspect the campus after the incident? No, ma'am. Well, inspected for what? To see what? To see how much damage was done? Or, or, or co 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 collateral damage? No. Okay, could you speak to the Grady Allison incident when he was arrested? And yeah, but you got to call the Minister of Justice. That, that was the Minister of Justice operation. That was the Minister of Justice. I was in America when Grady Allison was arrested. Okay. I was attending police conference when he was arrested. And it was said that they were waiting for me to arrest me also. Don't forget that Grady from Kipamona, and I'm from Kipamos, and we're, and we're bodies. So uh, he, 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 Minister of the Army, I'm Chief of Police. We got the two forces in the country. Yeah? Okay. So everybody say, we're Frank Clark going to be arrested. I came home. I came home after Grady were arrested, but one or two days after Grady were arrested, I came home. I came home, I went straight to the mansion to dare my my detractors, why arrest me? Why, why, you know? And, uh, and the NSA director at that time, I took him from Washington, from Washington at the airport to, to meet me. So I said, well, you're going to arrest me. He said, well, you don't mind the foolish people there. But anyway, this was a holy, this was two ministers or two ministries colliding. Jenkins Scott, Minister of Justice, Grady Allison, Minister of National Defense. And uh, Jiggy Scott wanted to, to, to be chairman of Joint Security. And, 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 uh, and, to, and to do that, he had to, he had to neutralize Grady. And I, I, I tell you the truth, as far as I know, nothing in that Allison's allegations were true. Nothing was said, but there was no fact in it. You got a new Grady and his wife. He, he, he ate yatta, uh, 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 water, and, and you the both of them. And if anything, and all the witnesses that they got to testify, they fabricated it. Of course, it was a, a kangaroo court trial. I think they had it at DTC. I never attended it. I never went, I never went there. I was never called, so I didn't have any calls to, to visit it. Um, you talk about um, some commission officers that were being investigated at the time the coup took place. Uh, my question is, uh, what was this information that you got that prompted you to arrest them? You don't put you something wrong with your microphone, ma'am. Because I hear you, but uh, please. Um. Let me come nearer to him. You can hear me now? I can hear you clearly. Okay. You talk about some uh, commission officers <coughs> that were being investigated uh, during the time of the 1980 coup. Um, my question is, what was the intelligence information that you got or whatever information that caused you to arrest them to be investigated? And who were they? I, I, and uh, I, I, uh, let, let me let, let me tell you some. If this is fact. This is a fact. Uh, I tell you the truth. I, I'm a, I'm an old man now. For me to just sit down and cover names to you about the officers that be investigated, I I cannot tell you off the cuff. 
You understand? I can't think of the cause. But we had information that these people were planning a coup. Oh, okay, that they were planning. We had information that they were planning a coup. But for me to name them, because they, they were now one or two persons, you know, eh? uh, but I, I, I can tell you the ranks. They were ranked from majors up to l l lieutenant colonels. So you did not know any one of them, uh, ah, or you can't okay, remember okay, any okay. one of them. You see, I tell you about my age business, somebody sent me information and said that the, the assistant director was not Joseph John, but Henry Johnson. Pardon me? Henry, he knew not Joseph, the, the assistant director of police for operations oh, that were killed. Henry. He, he knew not Joseph John, he knew Henry Johnson. Oh. You see, I show you now, and, and, and the old man, <laughs> Thank you very much. Eh? Henry Johnson, that's right. Oh. So you say you cannot remember not one of them, not even one. <laughs> you see, you see, you see what my, they yeah, trick my mind. At least you remember the Johnson. <laughs> and I wonder what? At least you remember the Johnson. Johnson oh, Johnson was my direct, you were my officer, you remember my staff. Oh, okay. How many were there? We are pretty near four, six, four, five, four six, six of them. They were, they were ranked between, as I say, major and lieutenant colonels. Um, during the investigation, was there any admittance? Uh, did they admit to? I was not investigating them. Oh, NSA okay. was investigating them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I you were not, not involved I not, I in the investigation. Investigating them. Okay. Um, where were you when Torbo was killed? I said I was were on you, the grounds. You were in the mansion. I was on the grounds. On the grounds. You went from in the mansion. Where on the grounds? I was at the boot. The, the boot going to sink up. The last boot. Went to sink up. I was mm. standing up there. I parked my car there. So it was around what time? I had to be around about between 11.30 and 12.30. 11.30 and 12.30? Yeah, yeah. That'll be, uh, I can't be exact, you know. But between 11.30. Because Mr. Torbo had gone all that night. He mm -hmm. had come here. He had come here that night. They had some concert, uh, Timothy Thomas, uh, something like that. They had some concert, uh, spiritual, Serenade or somewhere, like and as I say, I, I'm not chief of security, so I mean, I didn't attend the vocation our own. And he had gone back home, he was supposed to go to Bensonville that night. When he got home, he dismissed his security and told them, We're not going to Bensonville anymore, I'll remain here, you know. So, what were you doing there at that time? I got call that the mansion. The president called me. Mm -hmm. President telephoned me, say that people were attacking. And I telephoned Mr. Minicon, Patrick Minicon. But Minicon were, were team. We were in the service for we were dinosaurs. We were in the service for years. So we had, we, we had, we, we, we had a form of a, a camaraderie. I called Pat. And Pat came and joined me. Me and Pat met. We, we met. Uh, TV Inex, Congo Town, and we parked his car there and drove in my car. So we rode one car. And we got there, we got there, by the time we got there, I think it, it was over because there was a young man, one of my officers, uh, boy, who am I saying? We were in the force together and then I left. Gabriel Moore, <coughs> Gabriel Moore, Gabriel Moore was talking to me on the, on the radio. He was talking to me on the radio, he was on duty that night. He had come from Ralphie. He was talking to me on the radio and then he really went dead and I said to the pastor, I killed a man. man dead. So he and called you just before uh, he died? He, he, talking, he was communicating with me, telling me what was happening. He was in a car parked on the second floor of the mansion. He couldn't get in the mansion because when he got there, the mansion would be attacked. And so he was telling me over the radio, he called me on the radio and, 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 and talking to me. And then he went dead. And that was the last communication I got from him. I told Pat, I said, I killed a man. <clears throat> so when they told you and, to and, leave... And, and, Connor, and Connor really, who were the, the, the commanding officer, I understand from officers there after, after the whole thing that I spoke to, that he was, again, he was leaving his 
house, he lived on the compound, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the mansion, in the backyard there, the barracks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was leaving his house there, going to the mansion, and they shot him right in the backyard. He was one of the officers. So when you, the two of you got to the gate, they told you all to leave? Yeah, they told the us to, they told us So why did you go? You went no, back no, home? No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We did a lot of things that night. I said, mm -hmm. one of the things, I think, who? So call my action by Jabo. I said, me and Jabo were together five o'clock in the morning. And so, you remember that part of it? I did a lot of things that night. Okay, along with Jabo. So what? A lot of things along with Jabo. No, but we did a lot of things. It, not necessarily with Jabo, but we did a lot of things. Okay. I mean, if I, if I could have reversed, if I could have reversed it, I was doing things to reverse it. I yeah, and, and Jabo was just a cog in the chest, on the chessboard. That's all. I was doing a lot of things to reverse it. I talked with foreign governments and all. Oh. Okay, thank you so much. Coming on red. Put on red. Former director of police, Wilfred Clark. <laughs> former minister. Uh, I like that. Former everything. <laughs> yeah. Deputy minister of state. Uh, uh, my name is Cons Commissioner Pearl Brown, who in this capacity, as I said, I have to put on my dark shades because you one of those who I know very well. Because when you were on the stage or action, somehow we met. Because they consider someone like me too to be one of the old, old girls. I see that you, for 35 years, you been in the police doing uh, security work because when you started 1962 to 2006, but we took out 13 years, <coughs> 1990 to 2003, although I'm aware you were doing security work outside at some higher level, in fact, even to the UN, but that's not included. But for Liberia, you've been giving your professional services for 35 years. For someone to be around in this country and still have friends for the kind of job you were performing, history will judge you. And you can be judged mostly in your professional career. Um, I just want to make some clarification because everything we've done here has been recorded. You said that... Uh, You became director of SSS 1970. It was 1971 because Tottenham died July 1971 and Torbo took office. So it was when Torbo took office yeah. because it's being recorded and for those who are not around and who will be writing their books and don't know <coughs> what it is and will write it like that from what they heard, would like to correct that. Thank you for the correction. Also, taking into consideration your professional duty and the fealty oath, which you take the oath of secrecy, for which, because of your job, citing things supposed to be kept secret for X number of years, we may not ask you these questions because, but we will, we need your information in camera, so we expect to call you again and we hope that you can give us information that will not uh, undermine the security of the state because what are certain things were done in the past is still if revealed can still undermine the security of the state because Liberia is not isolated. Thank you. Thank you serve on a various uh, Minister of Justice. Uh, you serve on our Minister of Justice during the Tory Party era because you were still a police. You also serve on the Doe era. And uh, 
you just gave us some explanation about Jenkins Scott and the role he played. Many people who are here now listening and will read did not know, were not there to know his role he played. We invited him, but he came here the first day and I who know him very well because I had interaction with all of y'all in the security. There were times I had to come there and say, if y'all want to arrest me to the Broadway checkpoint, arrest me, come in here and reach the devil with y'all. Don't tell your people to stop my car and tell me get outside to walk out when I walk. They can shoot the car. Uh, so I'm sure y'all had interaction with me. And if you don't feel comfortable for me sitting here to ask questions, you can tell me that too and I will recuse myself. But if you feel that you can trust my integrity in by my judgment, I may proceed. The two persons on that commission there, you and the, my, the, my neighbor there, yeah, I look outside neighbor. my room window, I see your, <laughs> in your TV. <laughs> so, and you, and like you say, you know, my mama, your, don't let us go down that road. Yeah. Only thing, I will not allow, I will not answer anything that will impinge upon the security. security of the state. I'm, I'm very, and aware of that, yeah, and, I and you know that. I should be aware yeah, of that. You, you, from your because, from the, yes, from the background, yeah. from which y'all who in security will know. People might know <clears> from <throat> from political and legal, but y'all from the security, at least you've interacted with me. Uh, I won't. And that's why I laid the premise for the future oath. I would like for you, if you can, well, if you come in camera, because what I was seeing with Jenkins Scott when he came here the first day, I spoke to him, he even recognized me. And he even said, he said, I even know my children and my wife. So then I concluded my own thing here then he, that he was not capable to stand for us to ask him questions because there are many things that happened during his era. But I think history judging him already by the deeds he's done. And so need to no need to uh, call him here because I don't if he doesn't know me I don't know him doesn't know his wife and children name what he, he would not remember anything because people have been coming here and having selective amnesia anyway. Uh, if you like you can tell us what kind of minister of justice that you work on in the 1970s the late 1979 that came up to the uh, uh, 1979 79 riot. If you feel you can talk in public, if not, we could have it in private. You have start, you talk about Jenkins Scott. You can talk a little more about Chipo because although you you were taking out of jail December 1980, but Chipo was around, I think that Doe himself, they, they moved him sometimes 81 or 82. In terms of the kind of instructions, the directives they were giving. And I think there was another Minister of Justice of... Uh, Oliver Bright. Oliver Bright. Yeah. Uh, James A. Pierre. J. Uh, uh, Pierre. Uh, Lawrence was, Morgan. Uh, Lawrence Morgan. Clarence Simpson. Clarence Simpson. Yeah. Chessin, Joseph J.F. Chessin. Yeah, I work on and, all of them. Uh, Tottenham. Winston Tutman. Winston Tutman, that's right. Yes, who even carry you with him somewhere in international arena, is he? Who? Not? You didn't work with Winston Tutman too in the international arena? Mm, well, we worked for Bosnia. the same. We worked for the same organization. He he was in what, what they call uh, he was in uh, Bosnia. I, well, oh no, 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 no! I was in Bosnia. He, he, Somalia. He, 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 he and Jack Klein were in. Uh, 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 a part of a part of the Balkans that yeah. was under three countries. They were under Croatia, uh, Serbia, and and, and Bosnia. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. no, we're not Yugoslavia. Uh, uh, they were in a part. And the capital of that place was is Vukovar. Mm -hmm. Now the capital of that place. Kosovo. I, I, they, they, yeah, they, I, they, I can't remember the, the name right now. But but they were in that. They were in that. They, they were in that area there because it was very. Very, uh, very delicate I I area, you know, for them to have three three countries mm -hmm. vying okay. for control, mm -hmm. and so the the UN established a, a, a mandate where they 
were the de facto power. They were operating, running that 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 that, that part of the of the, of the Balkans. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I, I, I was in I, I, I was in uh, Sarajevo during that time, and then uh, and then I went to to the Congo. I went, uh, no, I went to Bristol. From Bristol, then I went to the Congo. But uh, we, we we were made. We were made. In, we, we were commissioned the same day. We were appointed the same day. You got Asik Nemplu, were Minister of Justice, and Joe Meyer, were Chief of Police. And the President fired them, and appointed Winston Tupman, Minister of Justice, and Wilfred Clark, Director of Police. And so I, I was up to Godfrey, as I said, be a good I came down the, 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 the following morning. And I went to the minister of justice. I said, man, the president doesn't know what he's doing. He said, what do you mean? I said, can the president make you minister of justice and make me director of police? I said, it's not right. He said, what do you mean? I said, okay, let's go to the president. So we went to the mansion. Went to the mansion. And I said, Mr. President, uh, I, this man here, okay. our mothers were pregnant together in the house. His mom was pregnant. I was, I was born January 10th. He was born January 26th. We only seen here the same month. We've been living together from that time until now. We like brothers. How can you make him minister just a minister of police? Not right for the country. Winston got angry with me. He said, "Why you don't want to work with me?" I said, "No, not that I want to work with you. But this, our enemies can exploit it. Our enemies tomorrow can go to look, Mr. President. You got two brothers there running your security. You know what you're doing. So let me tell him." And let him decide. And then Mr. Do decided, yeah, okay, then if you let that, so yeah, okay, I, 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 I know, okay, yeah, I, I, you all work together. Yeah, all right, thank you, sir. At least the president knew. You see? Okay. So uh, that's the way that I mean. I, I like to be on, I'm not perfect, but I try to be on the professional side of things because I don't want tomorrow somebody come and say, I'm going to be able to, to, to vindicate myself. You see? Okay. Oliver Bright was Minister of Justice during the April 14 Red Riots. Oliver was the Minister of Justice during the April 14 Red Riots. And uh, he was one of those that fell victim of the Barnell Commission. Uh, so we, we, I, I, I worked on many, many ministers. Uh, chair Chief, I don't work on a Chair Chief, or Chair Chief of Chair. <laughs> you know, he said the people say uh, everybody in jail except you and Minigun. I said, but because everybody in jail, so you can put me and Minigun. You suppose we don't deserve going to jail, you know? He said, oh. So he gave us get order. We left from that street. We had left our family home. They were expecting us to come home. They took us from Ministry of Justice Street to post again. Me and Pat. <clears throat> so, but uh. I, I don't have any ill feelings against anybody. I'm a God-fearing man. God has blessed me. Blessed me. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an invalid. I'm not sick. Nothing. Uh, after all the things that I've been through, the trials and the tribulation, I can still laugh and joke about it. You know, it's an experience. <clears throat> You may answer this question, or you may not, if it, uh, for security reason. Uh, to those who might have felt that the security, you didn't really have a security network, which others realized that you all had, because there was a making of a coup, you know where it was, but just probably people pre A meeting of the what? A coup, a coup. You all were investigating people, but it's just that who were doing it, it preempted. However, can you say, in reading your paper here, you did mention citing groups of people, organizations, unions, and stuff. Will you say that your security was so good, or did you all have infiltrators within those various organizations who even during the do era were giving information? 
Mara mara wakna kwani agini zo. No no seriously no 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 let 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 them take some now. Them give the they, they call it trade craft. Yeah. You ever heard the word trade craft? Yeah. You heard trade craft. Okay. We, we got access agents. We got agents. We got informants. We got uh safe houses. We got all kinds of things that we use to collect I I intelligence. We, we, we got we got we got managers, yeah. Oh, we put all of that, all those people there. These are human beings and electronic and all of that. Put it into play. Yes, we we how can we operate? We are, even the, the the opposition infiltrate our 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 our, 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 our institutions. We got people that, that that work for us that I know were working for us during the turbo time. Who were, 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 were PPP and, and, and were Moja. You see, they were after what they were phone up, top officers, that they were sympathizers, you see, to, to, to those organizations. So yeah, I mean, we, we, we got it. That's why they gave us the money for. They didn't give us the money to have party. They gave us the money to, 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 to infiltrate, to infiltrate everywhere, the churches. The churches say, oh, we got to go there because some of the Reverend them be talking about that. Reverend. They got different uh, uh, motives, etc. Et they leave from there, they go, and, and they're under different pressure. You see? Now, the, the church is a pressure group. The union is a pressure group. The schools, pressure group. University, pressure group. So, all these people here, they, 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 they come in, in, into play, the, the women, your organization, eh? pressure group. Women, we can't touch them. Women and children, almost untouchable. You see, so we gotta be careful. We gotta treat, treat them with kid gloves. We gotta take care of how we handle them. You see, and so we we we, we gotta we, 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 someone else. We gotta make love to your make our girlfriend and all the kind of <laughs> to, to get information out of the organization. <laughs> And some of the women make you all their boyfriends. Yeah, so to hear, well, to hear, to hear her talking, I was sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so, yes, it's, 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 it's an operation technique. Thank it's you a, very it, much. We only talking up to 2003, and that's why my question you just brought it up that when it comes to security and spending money for security. If some money cannot be, uh, uh, you cannot really specify certain <coughs> money because of the security nature or the work security carry on to be able to protect the state. Isn't that correct? They got a security oversight committee. The legislature has a security and intelligence committee. And uh, I don't know how effective they are in Liberia because with, with, with me, they, 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 they have never, they, they try to control me, but they, 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 they cannot, they could not, rather, I can't no more in the security. They, they, I, 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 never, I never allowed them, and they had respect for me. They had respect for me, but uh, I respected them and there are certain things that they wanted to know i would tell them you know you guys are 11 on this committee i cannot talk to 11 of you eh? mr chairman please get one or two of you you come let's sit down and talk i can't talk about i can't talk because i know some of you people are in the opposition i know some of you are in the opposition and i cannot tell you my operation technique so please i would like to cooperate with you but you know i just can't and they will understand. Look, 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 look at this last government. This government was government inclusion. The, the, a CPA was drawn out in, in Accra where they, they, they took these young men out of the, out of the, 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 the forest. They, they, they told them to lay down the AK-47s and we gave you positions in government. We form a government around you. Now, with me, that way out. These people here are outlaws. They fought, they, 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 they took our arms, they killed people, etc. The young man was sitting down here, you know, all of that. So now, I, 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 I can't, 
And then they, they come and they say, look, can't help us with security. I'm an outsider, total outsider. I was not here. I join no political party. I join no faction. Nothing. I got to work with these people. Minister of Finance, Minister of Justice, Foreign Minister. You name them, all of them, from different factions. I'm the only outsider. I don't manage it. Difficult. Very difficult. The NTLA. NTGA, what they call NTLA, eh? Yeah. The, 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 the transition legislature. There the, the people there, the same kind of people. And they're calling me, tell me, ah, 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 ah. but you want me to commit suicide? You want me to tell you that I got people spying on you? They want me to tell you? I, I'm sorry, I can't do it. So, but I managed the security for two years as an outsider. I managed it for two years. We had demobilization. We had disarmament. We had re voter registration. We had election. We had election runoff. All with up one day postponement. Serious. Not play. I work. Work with all of them. I work with Lloyd. I work with Model. I work with everybody. Some days we fought. We didn't fight physical. But they cost me, I cost them. Uh, they, they, I said, I mean, we actually, we didn't fight for both. We raised heaven when we speak and all that. I had a job to do. And I had to choose a team that could work with me that were neutral also. The only interest they had was Liberia, the law. That was the only interest they had. And we, and we did it. And so, we do work with the United Nations, work with the UN, that's our, our partner. You even had the formation of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, for which now we are fighting and trying to come up with a result that will bring peace, justice, and reconciliation to this country. And thank you for coming to be part of this process. And I'm sure the chairman will ask you for your last word before he gave uh, uh, his statement or questioning. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again, sir, for your presentation and responses to our questions. I just want to ask a few little questions. <coughs> And one has to relate to the Cold War. The Cold War, you alluded to the existence of the Cold War and the non alignment posture of our president at the time. Were you suggesting that those two uh, situations influenced or impacted the situation that resulted to the coup? Yeah, it had it had great influence on it. I can say unequivocally, it had had a <laughs> look, look. Let, let, let me tell you, the night of the coup, our foreign minister Cecil Dennis went to the American embassy. They closed the gate in his face. That a, that a, in a wrong in international law France against that. This man was going there. His life was being threatened. He went there for, for protection, and they closed the gate in his face. Why? Because he was Mr. Torbo's agent. He was Mr. Torbo's point man. They closed the gate in the man's face. They didn't allow that, and they caused that man death. You know what I mean? I mean, that, that's an example right there. Why? Cecil, everybody had respect for Cecil. It was an effective foreign minister. <coughs> you also said that our army was well trained. So what? The army at the time, we had a good army, was well trained. Yeah, we, we, had, we had good officers. Good officers. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. April 14, 1979, the army broke every law in the book. They broke every law in the book. Right now where I'm sitting, believe me, 
If I was in authority, I won't want any army. I got confidence in no army. I'm telling you, I would build up a police force, a, 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 a security organization that would replace the army because the army violated every law or the oath. They violated it. April 1497. You understand? All right. So, I went to the president. I wrote him a report. Look, we, we got to revamp the army. We got some good officers in the army. And I, I made a recommendation. Some, I worked with the U.S. military mission. I worked with the U.S. military mission. And we came together with a cadre of officers, well-trained officers, all the dossier, everything we added. Then I went to the president. <clears throat> Belly Holop was Minister of National Defense. When I looked, the president appointed Frank Smith, Minister, I mean, Chief of Staff. He appointed Frank Smith. So I said, damn, all the people I recommend that Frank Smith, you appoint why? <laughs> The answer they gave me, I'm telling you the truth. You know, and who was Frank Smith? You know him? Frank Smith was a pilot. He used to fly the one propeller plane down the coast. He had to look at the coast and he couldn't even read a damn compass. You know what I mean? He couldn't read a compass. He had to look at the coast to fly to Cape to fly to Sino, to look at the coastline. You know what I'm saying? That's the man they took from there and they made him chief of staff. And when they asked him why, the answer they gave me, I won't repeat it. But you know, we had qualified men, qualified soldiers, well trained, people that had been U.S. military, U.S. Naval uh, uh, Academy, your commanding general staff college. Uh, as I said, oh, look, men of the boys there, we had similar training and, and all of that. Good, good officers. And the army was trained. By which government? The U.S. government? Yes. America. Like, like, like you know, now, now things change, and there's some that I argue about when I could. The Liberian police and the Liberian army have always been American trained. Uh, security, Israel. Uh, now things have changed. See, now we under, we got United Nations people, we got all kind of people down here. Uh, I'm not criticizing them, but you know, it's something that I, I, it's something that I'm not used to, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm not used to it, so it may be a good, maybe not good, but as far as I know, I, 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 I'm a protege of the uh, Israeli Secret Service and the uh, and American police, American law enforcement, and it, it saved me well. It saved the officers to work, work with well. Uh, was Jebu a member of the officers' corps of the army? So what? Jebu. Yeah. He, he was a ranger. You, 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 one of the first rangers trained to, to be trained as a ranger in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Whoa. <laughs> that, that's superb training. You want to go there. He was a ranger. And, Animal. And he opposed the coup. What? He was opposed to the coup by non-commissioned yes, officers. I can testify to that. He was anti that. And at that time, there were some non-commissioned officers who were under going investigation for the same thing the non-commissioned officers did. No, you lost me there. At the time, uh -huh. there were commissioned officers yeah, yeah, who were yeah. undergoing investigation. Yes, 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 yes. But Jabo was not one of them. He was a good officer. Let me tell you something. I, I was coordinator for the UN, for the OAU. Eh? So my headquarters, everything, I moved out to the, to the village there. Jebo was the senior military officer uh, uh, assigned to me. Eh? So uh, I remember uh, he got drunk. He got drunk one day. Uh, because we were working hard, we had been there for about 10 days, just living off of that place there. The only time we used to go to our home, we were to get changing clothes or things like that. So we were out there. So he, he, had, he had been there working, working, working. He got a little bit of alcohol and things like that. He was a little bit tipsy. And he, he came to the gate and they were stopping him, start raising hell. So I went there and I said, okay, I said, Major, look, go home, give me your radio. Go home, sleep, come back tomorrow morning. He left. 
came out and then next morning I thought you were going to be pissed off. Don't pay so you can't even say thank you very much, Chief. You did well for me. I was tired of hell last night. Train officer. Were you and him buddies, pals? Or no, just professional? No, no, colleagues? I know he I knew he, he knew me. We we have so I know he I know he competence. I knew he competent, but we're not buddies. So we're not enemies either. We were we I, I could say my colleague, you know, I I, I had confidence in his in his ability. I knew your qualification. Did you get to understand any reasons why the president didn't go to Bensonville that night and he said I don't choose? know. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, as I say, I was not the president chief of security at that time. You know, eh? Edward Maxwell was the chief of security. Edward Maxwell didn't come to work that day, coincidentally. He didn't work that day. That day, you know. Maxwell so, didn't work that day. He didn't work that day. He didn't work that day. And uh, no, I don't know why. Uh, Word has come around to to uh, us. See what? Word has come around to us that uh, the president was alerted not to go to Bensonville because he would have died if he had gone that night. No, I, I, can't, I can't understand you, please, sir. We have gotten information yeah. that had the president retired in Bensonville that night, he would have been assassinated. But you were assassinated anyway. <laughs> you know, he didn't go. <laughs> you know, but yeah, I heard that nobody had planned to ambush the convoy on the road. Afterwards, now, they were ahead, that they had planned. So they changed their plans and when, he, when he was in the mansion. And and the and the a, a sort of imagine. But look, the, the, this thing it it, 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 it it has a tribal flavor to it. It got this international flavor, got tribal flavor, etc. You know, uh, I got intelligence report. Certain uh, certain people had brought in. A wish man, a Molly man from Gambia, from the Gambia or from Mali, one or two. And he said to me, Now, I, 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 I mean, again, I'm rooting my boy. I, I, I know that there's witchcraft, but I don't believe in it. I, I don't deal with it. So I laughed. I laughed it off. Honestly. I laughed it off. But it was true. It was true. I laughed it off and I did nothing about it. Because the all the information coming to me. I, I was the the, the, the the central point man in the, in the ministry. Brother, what my chief, but they didn't know nothing about security. You see, I laughed it off. The end was true. They had they had important the which man because what they felt that they think the people they were dealing with also. You know, they had to they had to get involved with it. I, I, I'm a man. I, I believe. Straight thing, you shoot me, boom, boom, gone. Basically, you know, I don't know where you coming from with witchcraft and all of that crap. There, you know, and I, and I inside that. But yeah, so and this was about two or three days be, be, before the assassination that I, I got this intel that uh, the raw witchman in important witchman. Yeah, the people, the people, they, 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 they had money. They had money. They were. You talking about this? Uh, I told my cool one part. I told my cool one part. Do and then. what they had? They, they had. They didn't have the kind of money that we take. But they, they, they were digging illicit diamond. They, they, were, they were they were in the diamond mine. They digging diamond. They were selling. So they, they had left money of, of their own. You know, they have left money of their own, and and and, and they had the the, the 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 tribal people that were loyal to them inside the mansion. So, the Loma and the Pele officers were game. When I said they were game, I mean they were outsiders. They shot them up that night. Most of the boys that died in the mansion, and they were Pele and Loma boys. The Gyu and the Crown boys, they were the perpetrators of the thing, and the Sapo. You see? So, they had insiders, they had people within the executive mansion guard battalion who were sympathizers to them, who knew what was happening. <laughs> So we get an impression that there were two 
coup attempt on the way. No, no, when they cook, took were the same group of boys, the same, the same group of boys, the same group of young men. Then how did Jebel come into it? Because what? not long after the coup was announced, Jebel was declared a wanted man. The PRC declared him wounded. The PRC, the 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 the, the, the Redemption Council declared him wanted because I mean simple. The fights. What were the first act of the PRC? Decreed that no, no. NCO yeah. take order from CO. Jebo was a CO. So when Jebo could not be formed, they declared him wanted. And then they, they, they got information that, that Jebo was carrying out anti activities the morning, the night, and the morning of the coup. Uh, you see? And uh, Jebo was on his way to, to shopping. I think Fred Blay was commander of shopping. Uh, Jebo was on his way there when they ambushed his troops there, the vehicle he was driving on, on, the, on the shopping road. He disappeared, he, 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 he lost. That way he went out and they were looking for him. Okay. <clears throat> You said that Brotherhood was in a well placed security man, so you were busy. You were not what? He wasn't a seasoned security person. You were not a security man, not seasoned. Oh, you were not a security man. <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were political appointee, you were Minister of National Defense because you were the President's son in law. You were the President lawyer. Very educated man. Well educated man, well educated lawyer. You understand me? He's yeah. he alive today. You, you understand? But. Security is a different thing, it's a profession. You see? So, when the president took him from defense, the president created this body, erased this organization to a ministerial level, and put Biden over it. And I continue to be a, a principal deputy. You said Brady had some unfavorable comments to say, make about you. Say what? Mr. Huda had some unfavorable comments to make about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, plenty people, plenty people. You hear what my sister there say? Say from the last day long, God bless me. People that speak to me say in the street. A few tell me, say, man, like you should be dead. For the say, four or five president, where, 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 where you coming from? Where, where in Africa here you see it happening? Yeah? They say you play like America. Yeah? What, 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 what happened? That, 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 that why now I can't? I can't because they, they, nobody can trust me. You see, they may as a survivor. <laughs> so, well, well, well. I understand. <laughs> can you recall? I want to switch the subject now. You see what? Can you recall in what year you were approached by both Doe and Thomas Kumpa about? Kills and my dad. Oh, 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 oh. I can't be, but I know, I know, though it had to be 1985. Because right after I talked to those boys, you understand me, eh? Uh, they, 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 they aborted invasion of course. Eh? All right. It had to be 85. Tamon Kuumpai, maybe 83, uh, 83, that I don't know. I can't, I can't exactly remember. But it's funny to me that, you know, it, 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 it happened with them. Even Podio, 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 Podio say, you know what Podio say? Podio say, some crap Podio doing. I think I said, look, my man, let me tell you something. I say, I'm chief of police for the people who want me to be chief of police. I'm chief of police for the people who don't want me to be chief of police. I chief of police for the old people, for the young people, for foreigners within our borders, for children. I'm the chief of police of Liberia. You understand? So you don't gotta let me from the beach for police. Yeah, you know, he told me he told me play, he said, I know you are you, not my choice. You know, you don't you know. He sent me five officers, five five men to to to, to employ in the, in the in the in the interest of the suffering masses. That was the letter he wrote me. You know, the suffering masses. I, I called my chief of personnel, my chief of finance. I say, take the five men, let them write the application interview them, 
If they qualify, okay. Mr. Chief of Finance, if we got the money, okay. I see that again. You see? So, yeah, all the things against me, but what I want to do, huh? That the name of the game, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, why before the military tribunal, you expressed to them that in your view the coup was inevitable? So what, sir? You said why before the Frank Sequenis military tribunal, you told them that in your mind the coup of 1980 was inevitable why it may not have been justified. I just want to know if you still today maintain that view. Well, if I still maintain that view? Yeah. That it was imminent, it but was, it was not legal. Yeah. Because I said, coup d'etat is uprising against constituted authority. Yeah? Some people say the, the, those stole the, the election, so that that's why they, they, they raised army to, 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 in the, to invade the country. Etc. And I inside that one there. Uh, the do them the the the, the old two, Mr. Turbo, because they were influenced by who I don't know what what, what were the motives, etc. But I do know that there are certain underlying factors that were not satisfactory, simmering in the country, discontentment all kinds of things. Yeah? We we allow Moja, Susuku, PPP, you know, to penetrate our schools, our schools, our labor unions, the market, women. Yeah? We, we allow all these things. So, so it was right, the government was right for, for, for picking. You see? So, uh, uh, yeah, and, and then, uh, as I said, the true party, Three party came into 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 being as opposition party and, and the, uh, representing the people, the, the, the common people, and and, and 111 years afterward they had lost track of their of the, of, of their goals, the, the platform, the the the, 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 the aims and, and, and objectives, a lot of things. Then we had this east west confrontation. We had our own our own desires, our own national policies that we wanted to, uh, were not aligned and uh, we wanted to choose our own friends but they take to us uh, who our friends can be, you know. So yeah, all of these things. But there could have stayed, there could have been a change without necessarily a, a military coup d'etat. See what? There could have been a change without a bloody military coup will, will be violent. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, I don't think the, the Liberian people would not have voted for Mr. Talbot to, to succeed itself. So, so what, what did they do? The, 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 our enemies went to the most palatable group, the people who, who, they, who, who they manage, and, and they use them. Yeah? If they are going to, to bore like, like like Stephen Kofa, Kofa, a general, good officer, uh, Trebe, good officer, Falcon, I mean I could name them, Douglas, uh, Fred Blade, good officer come from, good, had good training, and, uh, the, the boys believe in the rule of law, they believe in the rule of law, they were trained officers. And the PRC used them, some of them that were sympathetic, sympathetic with PRC, they made them ministers. They made them ministers, I mean, in the, in the government, mm -hmm. you know. Rulo Kolako, good officer. But it I said, a lot of them, hundreds of them, yeah. trained them over the years. For obvious reasons, they weren't used because they would not have agreed. Mr. Fabio, please, sir. For obvious reasons, they weren't used because yeah. they yeah. would not have agreed. Yeah. 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 We even hear that Cobra Johnson, after the death of former President Tottenham, 
was approached, I don't know if you know, who? General Kubo Johnson. Kubo Johnson. At yeah, the time, Kubo Johnson. after the death of President Tottenham, yeah. was approached to take over the government and he said no. I know the devil president, but I think April 14. April 14. It, it, there was certain, a, a period that April 14, 1979, when we didn't have government. We didn't have effective government. Period. Yeah? Bema, Bema Barkley was the commanding officer, and Cobalt Johnson was the chief of staff, and I was a security man. A three year old together, I came into my house, we had lunch together. I didn't leave them. They were in my car with me, they were in my office with me. We slept together that night in my office. You understand? And, 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 uh, and, and if, if, Cobalt Johnson wanted to be president of Liberia, he could have been president of Liberia. But he was not that, he was not that way. Right? Thank you very much, sir, for coming. <clears throat> Honorable Clark, we are glad that you responded positively to our invitation and you spent this time with us. As you say, you're an old man, you need your rest. But now, extending, you took your time off to come and share your very valuable experience with the commission. Indeed, you have added value to our inquiry process. And we hope that in future, if there's a need to keep the composition going, you will be available. Thank you very much. Once more, on behalf of the commission. Is there anything finally you want to leave us with at this time? No, I just want to allay if any apprehension, any fears you guys may have. I'm a law man, and you know, I respect the law. I love my country. You understand? Know, I, I save my people, I save this country. And uh, so anything I can do to enhance your work, it's, I may have some some little reservations, but uh, we, 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 can, we can handle it. We, we can get around it. Huh? Okay. But you got my telephone number. You got my telephone number. They're my lawyer there. You see, I sit down there and let you know me. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. You may kind of leave.